12 games, three stadiums, three days. But for now, our focus here is on Mackenzie Winant, who looks to sweep in an early ball. Dapolonia drives through, scuffs her touch, a prime opportunity for Melbourne victory that built so nicely through Mackenzie Winant. Excellent build up by uh, Melbourne victory and definitely a scuffed opportunity. And what was built into the you'd suggest the clearest opportunity yet for victory. Four fouls apiece each side. Dapolonia will get another chance, strikes early. Had Aquino a little worried. She'd love to make amends for that moment. She Just was. earlier, close attention from Rigby. Two purple shirts, back to Rankin. Rankin early ball in on that left foot. Good challenge. Calls for a head knock from the sideline, but both players are back to their feet, Chidiak. Fallen again to Dapolonia, just inside the box. Perth have to be careful here. Rankin on her preferred left foot. Ball dinked into the box and it's in the back of the net. It's calamity for Perth. Miscommunication, Rachel Lowe. Well, she's having a fly in season for Melbourne victory. And for her sixth of the season, she welcomes the start of Unite Round with a wave to the crowd and the victory in front. And that's a superb delivery by Jamila Rankin. We've touched on the benefit of having a left-footed player on that side. It's well-weighted. It's into a dangerous area. Lowe just drifts into that back post area. She's unmarked, and it's an excellent finish by Rachel Lowe. Glory to spring the attack. You can hear the shouts of Alex Apakis on the sideline. Pushing Hannah Lowry on. It's dropped well to Kazada. Eyes up, gets a shot away. Good strike. Well, it had Courtney Newbon beaten. And the praise for Hannah Lowry, the pressure that coughed up possession in Kazada. Well, that's her best look at goal so far. Really um, interesting to see what substitutions are made. How do they better utilize possibly a bit more pace in, in wider areas and get their players that can pull the strings more central. A little slip by Anton, but she recovers well. Cowett can clear for distance. This time Jale, she can turn and run at speed. Cuts in on her right. Looking for a little bit of support. Drops back to Kazada. Lowry on the left foot. Lowry driving into the box. Hannah Lowry gets the shot away. Well, for Perth. They're most prolific in this first 15 minutes after half time. They've scored most of their goals across the season. Over 30%, in fact, in this next 15 minute passage. So, something that Melbourne Victory are going to have to be keenly aware of. Okay, well, just assessing her options. Prodded forward by low, handy ball. Another cross into the box too from Rankin and one it's there at the far post to collect. A little bit much watching going on from the Perth Glory defenders there. And that's a really nice passage of play in that build up on that left side. Um, I'm liking these combinations between Chidiak, Lowe and Rankin. You've got three good technicians providing quick support for each other so they can play out of the pressure there. And then it's just about uh, the delivery here into a the central goal zone area. Lowry, central ball into the box. It's a good ball, a great delivery. Hannah Lowry on the left boot. A magic moment for Perth Glory. Her third of the season, the midfield maestro. While well, she's capable of those moments and she's got her side back on level playing terms. A uh, fantastic delivery by Lowry. Yeah. And you can see the humbleness and the awkwardness with her celebration there. It's whipped in. It's very difficult given um, the positioning of the sun right now. We know that Melbourne victory are susceptible in defensive set piece moments to goals this season. So very good take and strike by young Lowry. Clearing ball from Kellen Knight. Mucic will get the shot away early. It's crossbar. And to the top of the net, well, Perth, they've got a sniff. And that's a really good look by Mucic in that moment. We know the quality of this young defender. She's got excellent passing ranges. She's seen the GK off her line and, and she's had a crack. It's actually the right decision um, and a, a good opportunity for Perth Glory. Well, victory. 
They've scored most of their goals. In fact, in his final 15 minutes of play coming up, of the 17 scored this season, six have come in this final 15 minute window. And Emily Gilnick will be looking to add to that tally. Good centering ball in, knotted away by Miocic. Low can wind one up, and that's a brilliant save. Morgan Aquino. You can see the reaction from Rachel Lowe. She hit that sweetly. It came off the boot, but Morgan Aquino, well, what a season she is having. Over the line, and will be Perth throw. Nice touch from Farrow. Driving to the top of the 18-yard box. Millie Farrow, well, that didn't miss by much. Lashed off her boot. But those moments of quality by the English striker, she can turn moments of nothing into goal-scoring opportunities.